वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेक्शन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ओम्स लॉ ओम्स लॉ हेल्प अस इन डिटरमाइनिंग इधर वोल्टेज करंट और इम्पिडेंस और रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ अ लीनियर सर्किट व्हेन द अदर टू क्वांटिटीज आर नोन टू अस इट आल्सो मेक्स पावर कैलकुलेशन सिंपलर सो बाय ओम्स लॉ वी कैन फाइंड आउट इजीली इफ वी कैन मेजर द रेजिस्टेंस एंड वी नो द अप्लाइड वोल्टेज देन वी कैन फाइंड आउट दैट हाउ मच current will flow so even if you don't have an ammeter uh, the case we have discussed already here if we don't even have an ammeter if you know the value of uh, resistance if you don't know the value of resistance and we know the apply voltages how much are the apply voltages we can measure directly that how much current will flow through the circuit so this is one of the application of ohms law so we can do some calculations and we can find out certain values through this how to establish the current and voltage relationship ohms law help us in determining either voltage current or impedance resistance of a linear circuit when the, the two other quantities are known to us it make us power equation simple in order to establish the current voltage relationship the ratio v or i remains constant for a given resistance therefore a graph between potential difference v and the current must be a straight line so it mean if you apply a voltage you will get the current if you apply the voltage two times you will get the current two times so it means that there is there is some quantity which is constant and this constant quantity is basically a resistance the ratio will remain the same let us see this one on on the circuit just for understanding let's draw uh, again a voltage source so let's draw a voltage source an ac voltage source and draw a resistance let's suppose we don't know the value of resistance here let's find the value of resistance by ohms law here so first we apply voltages like 10 volts in case 1 we have a variable voltage source and in case 1 we apply it like these are the voltages and here is the current and we don't know the resistance so we have to find out the value of resistance and we apply for example 10 volts we get 1 ampere so what will be the value of resistance resistance is equal to its the ratio of voltage versus current so we apply 10 ampere uh, 10 volts we get 1 ampere the so resistance will be like 10 ohms so we get the value resistance so let's now in case 2 we increase the ac supply voltages in case 2 we applied here 20 volts and we measure here in an ammeter we have an ammeter we don't know the value of resistance here so we measure the current we if we increase the vol voltage to 2 times 20 we will get 2 ampere again if you divide this voltage by current you will get again 10 ohms similarly in third case let's see if we increase the voltage to 30 volts here we measure the ampere is 3 ampere and if you see the ratio 30 divided by 3 is again 10 ohms so here the resistance is remain same so we can by injecting three values and using ohms law 
using this uh, ratio method, we, we know now the value of resistance is equal to 10 ohms and this is in a constant. So resistance resistance in any electrical network is a constant value. Resistance in an electrical network is in a constant value. Okay, whereas supply voltage and current flowing through a circuit can change both are variables so resistance is a constant we know what meaning of constant in maths constant is some something that doesn't change its, uh, its value so resistance is a constant whereas voltage V and the current both are variables it means resistance will not change when there is a change in voltage or current whereas volt uh, and whereas a current is function of voltage so you can see current is function of f is a function of applied voltage and resistance connected so it's in a very variable quantity this voltage here voltage drop can be find out or is a function of we can say current through flowing through the circuit and the resistance value so this is then some example so let's move to our next slide how do we find the uh, unknown values of resistance it is the constant ratio that gives the unknown values of resistance so we have now seen example where we have calculated the value of resistance which is a constant at different voltages for a wire of uniform cross section the resistance depends on the length of the wire L and the A cross section area A. It also depends on temperature of the conductor at a given temperature the resistance. So resistance of any conductor you can find out by using this formula which is equal to rho into L divided by A which is the resistivity. Resistivity is a property of a conductor and length is basically the length of conductor and A is a cross section of conductor. So let's now see how the conductor resistance is now working. So resistance is equal to rho resistivity into length divided by an area. So let's see, we let's uh, draw on a conductor. So this is basically the conductor. Okay. So the area of conductor here, this is an area of the conductor. Okay. Area of, this is because this is circular conductor. So area is equal to pi r square, pi into radius square. and you can see this is the length of the conductor if the length increases if the l is increasing you can see if l is increasing the resistance will increase so if you lay a cable of same type for one kilometer or one meter and another cable same type if you lay two meters so the resistance of the cable which is lengthier will be more. So this is basically the function and another 
constant here is an area of the cable so we know area of the circular cable can be find out by the formula pi r square so if the area of the cable is increasing if the area of the cable is increasing the resistance will decrease okay if the area of the cable increases the resistance of the cable will come down and the reason is is very simple uh, for example this is one cable and this is another cable with an higher area let's draw this cable this is another cable with bigger cross section area so here you can see this is a tight path and it will be difficult for current to pass through this as compared to this one so it's very simple that if area is increasing the more charge can pass easily and the resistance will decrease the third component here for the resistance is resistivity and the resistivity basically is a constant which is depending type of material so copper for example here have less resistivity as compared to aluminum and aluminum have less resistivity as compared to iron so this is kind of uh, comparison so our first choice for having a conductor could be for example copper the second choice could be aluminum the third choice is basically for example the iron but you also have to take care about the cost and the mechanical strength so anyhow this is basically the example okay in uh, next uh, lecture we will start the concept of series and parallel circuit thank you very much